Hello everyone, welcome back to Sended Moments channel. I'm Julim. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all safe. We are living dark times, weird times, uh, but all together we will get through this pandemic and we will remain stronger. Um, so I want to talk about in this and today it's the International Fragrance Day. So I want to talk about a fragrance house, which is actually one of my favorite fra niche fragrance houses out there. Shout outs to Rich Mitch, he's the one who had this idea. Uh, I will talk about Profumum Roma. Uh, it's an Italian niche brand located in Rome, Italy. In Italy, our Italian brothers are going through a very tough time my prayers and solidarity to them um, and this fragrance house it's amazing I, if you are following this channel for a while you all know that this is one of my favorite niche brands like i already told you so long story short uh profumum roma was created back in 1996 so they already have some years of experience in this business uh, it's a family business actually it's the durante family who is um, the owners who are the owners of Profumum Roma and they are also the noses behind I think they are t they are three brothers they are the ones who are responsible to make these fragrances fantastic fragrances right here they are all of highly concentrated all Profumum Roma fragrances they have 43% of perfume oil uh, concentration so they have a tremendous lasting power and even the projection the sillage it's stunning and this is why I love Profumum Roma, not just because of the performance, which it, the majority of them it's fantastic, but also because all of the fragrances are dense, are thick, are bold, and yet they are not obnoxious, and they have a natural feel into them. Also, because they are so concentrated, when you purchase a 100ml bottle of Profumum Roma, you also have a roll-on, a small roll-on in, in the box, uh, where you can decant a bit of your fragrance in that roll-on and just wear it when you will be traveling. Uh, so, Profumum Roma has uh, a main range where they have, I think, 32 or 34 fragrances in their uh, main line, let's say, and then they have a spin-off, which is Note di Profumo. It's also a, it's a line or a branch of Profumo Roma with, if I'm not mistaken, seven or eight fragrances. Um, I have here in my collection, I will show you what fragrances I have from Profumo Roma. I have here seven seven fragrances from Profumo Roma, six from their main line, their main range, and I have one from the Note de Profumo collection. Uh, so let's start talking about these fantastic fragrances right here. So first of all, I have a fragrance which for me it's summer in a bottle. And the fragrance is Aqua di Sale, this one right here. Gorgeous looking bottle, this is a limited edition bottle. Uh, I think it's from 2017 if I'm not mistaken. Wow. This was not love at first sniff though. Uh, it took me a while to appreciate this fragrance because this, this if you don't like aquatics, this is a big no for you. This is very aquatic, but it's so realistic. Again, very natural smelling. But in the first impressions, when I first tried this, this one, it smelled fishy. And, and for me, it was a turn off. Um, I liked it because I like salty aquatic fragrances, although it's not my favorite genre uh, about fragrances, it's not my favorite genre, but I appreciate it. But this fishy smell and then the price tag, mm, it's 219 euros, all these fragrances from Profumo Broma, they are 219 euros for the 100ml. You also have a 17ml bottle size which will run you for 80 something euros. But yes, they are a bit expensive. Um, and so that's that was another big turn off. But when I try this again, I gave this another opportunity. Uh, it was last year, in January of last year, and boy, it, it clicked. Uh, because this is very salty, it's very aquatic, very mineral and have a woody basis, has cedar if I'm not mistaken. This is wonderful, this is summer in the bottle, it really feels that you are in the beach uh, in a sunny day, feeling the sand on your feet, like you're feeling the sea breeze on your face 
it's fantastic it really puts you into a place and that's why i love this one this was my most worn fragrance during the summertime of last year and to this day for me this is the best summer fragrance in my opinion because also the performance it's out of this world and for me the best part of aqua di sale it's the sillage the trail that it leaves it's so sensual so sensual and that's why i love this and it's uh it's weird because usually sensual it's not the first word that comes to your mind when we think of uh, aquatic fragrances but this one has a sensuality in here and this is one of the best sellers if not the best seller of Profumo Broma Aqua di Sale it's absolutely stunning uh, another fragrance that I have from Profumo Broma and now we'll talk about my first love of Profumo Broma the fragrance is Fiore d'Ambra this was my first purchase my first love of this brand damn this in one word is narcotic so narcotic um, because you have opium in here you have amber you have also a tea accord a tea impression it's very relaxing very soothing uh, very alluring and so unique for an amber oh man this is not for everyone but damn it's intoxicating as well Fiore d'Ambra was my first love I highly advise you to try this one very underrated as an amber scent, even in Profumo Broma, this is very underrated. Fiore d'Ambra, flower of amber. Oh man, so good. Really advise you to try this one. If you love amber fragrances, this one is a must try. So another fragrance that I have here, uh, it's the best citrus fragrance that I ever came across. It is Aqua Viva, this one right here. Aqua Viva, it's the best lemon scent that I ever smelled. This is pure lemon. It seems that you just zest a pure lemon in this bottle and then you just spray on your skin. This has a perfect balance between tartness and sweetness. This, this is not overly tart, not overly bitter, but also not overly sweet, which could have come as a lemon candy. For me, this is very realistic very well done very well balanced lemon it has some sweetness in here some woody touches as well but this is pure lemon joy aqua viva by profumo broma perfect for the warmer days and also the longevity it's fantastic aqua viva it's also a fantastic scent highly advise you to try this one if you love lemon fragrances another fragrance that i have from profumo broma it's a delicious gourmet the fragrance is Dulcis in Fundo, this one right here, and this one is out of my collection of Profumo Broma, it's my most worn, as you can see, uh, Dulcis in Fundo, it's a delicious citrusy vanillic caramelized scent, delicious, this smells like a orange principle, you have a lot of orange and mandarin orange, you have also lemon in the touch of bergamot, but the prominent notes here are the orange, uh, mandarin orange with vanilla and the caramel feel into them. Delicious fragrance, I, and actually this is the most complimented fragrance from the Profumo Broma collection that I have. Hands down, this is my most complimented, very appealing, delicious, Again, this is very soothing, it's sensual, the sillage, it's delicious, it's delightful. Um, you just want to smell yourself. The Dulcis in Fundo, it's simply amazing. Perfect for date night scenarios, perfect for night out events as well. It's wonderful. Dulcis in Fundo by Profumo Broma, I highly advise you. If you're searching for a citrus vanillic combo, search this one you will be good with this one. Dulcis in Fundo, it's amazing, delicious fragrance. And now I think we will start talking about the heavy hitters that I have from the brand. First, I want to talk about, which is right now, one of my favorite amber fragrances alongside L'Air de Désert Marocain by Andy Tower. The fragrance is Ambra Aurea. Ambra Aurea, it's a masterpiece. If you love ambergris, Wow, if you love ambergris, if you love amber, if you love resinous, more balsamic fragrances, 
this one is a must have. Wow. The, the blend of the ambergris and amber is simply delightful. Love this one. This is very complex. It's very dense, very thick and very powerful. The performance is nuclear, but actually for me, this has also a soothing, relaxing effect of the balsam quartz that this has and the ambergris as well has a relaxing feel, um, but you need to go easy on the trigger. And actually, funny enough, this is the fragrance that got me the most um, negative compliments or negative comments. Um, when I, I wore this in a certain day, like I oversprayed, I need to be honest, I oversprayed. I went to the bus and there's a lady who said like, oh damn, someone just uh, oversprayed of fragrance. What a terrible smell. <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, it was a bit uh, uncomforting, but nonetheless, I still love this one. One of my favorite ambers, uh, Ambra Aurea by Parfum Broma. It's stunning. And the last fragrance that I have from the main line of Parfum Broma, it's my favorite patchouli. And it is simply patchouli. This, oh wow, this is intoxicating. Um, if you love Psychedelic from Jovois, you will love this one also. But this one, it's much more resinous. This one, it's much more deep. Um, it's more even, I would say, it's more earthy. It has this chocolatey feel also. It's a powerhouse through and through. It's very masculine. You need to love patchouli to enjoy this one, but it has a sweet resinous feel in the base that rounds the patchouli a bit more. But nonetheless, it's very powerful. This is a gentleman type of scent. Uh, very refined and sophisticated, but yet very bold, like the majority of Parfum Roma. And that's why I love this house. Although they are very bold, they are loud, but they are, they are not obnoxious. And also they have a classy gentleman feel into their fragrances and also a natural feel. And that's why I love this house. Patchouli, it's my favorite patchouli and it's from Parfum Roma, simply stunning. And the last fragrance that I have here, it's from the Note de Profumo line. And unlike these fragrances that I mentioned, the, uh, the Note de Profumo fragrances don't project all that much. They are more alluring, they set closer to your skin. And the one that I have here, it's my favorite from that line. The fragrance is Amante. This one right here. I have yet to review this one. Amante means lover. It's such a dark, mysterious, alluring, sensual fragrance. Um, this has oud, this has lavender, it has spiciness in here. I think it has cardamom, if I'm not mistaken, and also has sandalwood. Wow, what an outstanding fragrance. This was the first attempt, and so far the only attempt, of Parfum Roma to work with oud and they've done it to perfection. This is not a very bold, a very fecal oud, no, it's tamed, but yet it's very prominent in here. Um, but you have the sandalwood, you have the lavender that sweetens and rounds this oud a bit more, but nonetheless, the wood is here, it's very prominent, but it's bearable. But it's so good, man, this is so alluring. Again, uh, this fragrance is not meant to project. This fragrance, I think it's it's made to be more tamed, more subtle, and yet very present because this has a very bold character, although it's not loud and is not meant to be loud. Um, this one wants to maintain a mysterious facet, a dark mysterious facet, and that's why for me it's perfect for date night scenarios as well. Um, it's simply amazing, very addictive. Amante by Note di Profumo from Profumo Broma. It's simply amazing. Love this one. Um, and well, this finishes my collection of Profumo Broma, but I also love other fragrances that I tend to purchase uh, in, well, someday in the future. Uh, and one fragrance that I love is Icnusa. Icnusa, it's a wonderful fig leaf fragrance. It's very green, it has also a cut grass feel into it. Very green, very uh, figgy, <laughs> if that's a word. Um, but again, it's more the fig leaf, not the fig fruit. But it's, it's so smooth, so realistic, so natural, uh, natural smelling fragrance, wonderful. 
perfect for springtime and summer also. Another fragrance that I do enjoy, uh, and this one, it's very, very bold, but I enjoy the artistic side of this scent, which is Fumidus. Fumidus is like a campfire, a vetiver campfire. You just have vetiver and a lot, a overdose of smoke. Very smoky, uh, it really has a campfire effect with tons of vetiver. But it's fantastic, a very bold scent. It's again, very powerful, very long lasting, great projection. But Fumidus in the artistic side of things, it's fantastic, love it. Another fragrance that I am learning to enjoy is Olibanum. Olibanum is an incense going to that incense church type of feel. Quite resinous, very dry. It's not sweet. It's most. It's more dry, more intense. But it's very relaxing, very soothing. Again, it's wonderful. Olibanum from Profumo Broma, another stunning fragrance, especially if you enjoy incense type fragrances. Another fragrance that I do enjoy from Profumo Broma is Aqua Zucchero. It was not love at first sniff again because, well, as the name suggests, it's water and sugar, so it's a very sweet fragrance, goes into gourmand territories, but not entirely. Um, but yes, it's, it really has this watery sugar feel. I think it's perfect for the summertime, in my opinion. Quite, quite sensual, um, quite bold also, um, but you need to have a sweet tooth to enjoy Aquizucchero, but nonetheless, it's a great fragrance. Aquizucchero from Profumo Broma, it's another one that I do enjoy. Another fragrance that I also do enjoy, and it's a underrated fragrance from Profumo Broma, it's D'Ambrosia. D'Ambrosia, it's a wonderful fruity fragrance. You have grape, you have fig, and you have this creamy, milky sandalwood in the base. It's delightful, delicious, very fruity. You need to you need to love fruity fragrances to enjoy this one. But the grape here, it's much more prominent. Has a fruit, it's much more prominent. I think you also have peach, a touch of peach in the opening. But the grape, I think, it's the prominent note, and it's what it makes this fragrance quite unique in my opinion. Can lean a bit more feminine, but still, I think it's very unisex, especially in the dry down. Wonderful sandalwood, a creamy, slightly milky even sandalwood in the base. Stunning fragrance. And these are the fragrances that I mostly do enjoy from Profumo Broma. Um, I could mention other fragrances, but I think this video would be too long. There are a couple of them that I don't enjoy. For example, Jose Mundi was a fragrance that for me was a letdown. Uh, it's a rose patchouli combo, but for me, it's, it has a medicinal feel, a herbal medicinal feel on my skin that I really did not enjoy. Another fragrance that for me was a bit of a letdown is Sorriso, Smile, uh, it's a translation. It's a gourmand fragrance, a chocolate fragrance, but for me it was, uh, it smells like a chocolate pudding. And I was expecting a nutty chocolate, but well, I think I will enjoy it more some, somewhere in the future. I think I will enjoy that fragrance a bit more. Um, another fragrance that I don't enjoy as much is Dolce Aqua, which is a almond scent, but again, has a cough syrup feel into it. Um, another fragrance that I don't enjoy, but I think in woman fits wonderfully, which is Confetto. Confetto, it's another almond scent, but has floral nuances, a bit of woody touch. It's a bit creamy. Uh, I think it works wonderful in woman, but for me, it's a bit too feminine. And the almond, again, have this cough syrupy feel that I don't enjoy as much. But, well, overall, I love Profumo Broma. Uh, of course, I will not love all their fragrances, but, well, the majority of them I really do enjoy. And a lot of them are full bottle worthy, in my opinion. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what are your favorite fragrances from Profumo Broma. Are you familiarized with this house? Tell me everything in the comments down below and see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Be safe. Ciao.